Did you know? In 2011, the idea of BYD becoming the world's largest EV manufacturer seemed laughable. Well, those laughs didn't age well. Fast forward to the end of 2023. BYD stormed past Tesla, clinching the title of the number one EV manufacturer on the planet. But how did a company that started off making budget foam batteries become the world's top electric car brand? And the big question remains, can they stay on top? To truly appreciate BYD's rise. Back in 1995, BYD or Build Your Dreams was just a small startup founded by a chemist named Wan Chuanfu. Their initial focus? Manufacturing lithium-ion batteries. Yes, for the very same mobile phones that would soon dominate our lives. Wang's ambition was clear even then, with a keen interest in battery technology as a student. The business boomed by supplying giants like Motorola and Nokia. But BYD had its eyes on a bigger dream. In 2003, BYD ventured into the automotive world by acquiring Xi'an Chuan Automobile. Their first car, the F3, was a budget-friendly option that looked a lot like a Toyota Corolla. Despite being ridiculed for its design, the F3 found success because of one key factor, price. BYD was all about affordability, an edge they've never lost. Then came 2008, a critical turning point. Warren Buffett saw potential and invested $232 million in BYD, boosting their EV ambitions. That same year, they introduced the world's first mass-produced plug-in hybrid, the F3 DM. Although it flopped, BYD learned valuable lessons that paved the way for their future. BYD's breakthrough moment came in 2020 with the launch of their Blade battery, a game-changer in the EV space. This lithium-iron phosphate LFP, battery was not only more affordable but also more compact and safer than others on the market. This innovation allowed BYD to drastically cut costs. A huge advantage when you realize that batteries make up 40% of an EV's costs. Models like the Han sedan embraced the Blade battery, leading to explosive growth. BYD's EV sales skyrocketed from just 131,000 in 2020 to an astonishing 1.57 million by 2021. Most of BYD's success has been in China, where they dominate with a 35% market share compared to Tesla's 7.8%. This success isn't by accident. The Chinese government's push for EV adoption, coupled with tax breaks, gave BYD a substantial boost. Their ability to produce cars affordably has made them the go-to option for Chinese consumers. But BYD didn't stop there. They expanded into buses and fleets, allowing them to scale battery production like never before. Their secret weapon? Vertical integration. Unlike many competitors, BYD produces about 75% of their car components in-house, reducing costs and avoiding supply chain delays. With dominance in China secured, BYD is now setting its sights on the global market, particularly Europe. In fact, they've already launched in 15 European countries within just 11 months. And here's a bold move. BYD is the official EV sponsor for Euro 2024, stepping directly into Volkswagen's home turf. This signals their intent to capture the European market, where they're positioning themselves as a serious contender with models like the Atto 3. However, this expansion isn't without challenges. The EU is investigating Chinese EV imports, concerned about unfair competition due to government subsidies. If tariffs increase, it could make BYD's cars less competitive in Europe. But BYD is already planning to build a factory in Hungary to counter this and solidify their position. For now, BYD wears the crown, having outsold Tesla in the final quarter of 2023 by 526,000 to 484,000 in battery-only EVs. But it's a marathon, not a sprint. As the rivalry heats up, Tesla is reportedly working on a more affordable Model 2, aimed at competing directly with BYD's low-cost vehicles. In this battle, innovation and price will be the deciding factors. And while legacy German automakers like Volkswagen scramble to catch up, BYD and Tesla seem to be running in their own league. 
So, what does the future hold? Will BYD remain the king of EVs, or will Tesla reclaim the throne? Or could another Chinese player like Geely surprise us all? We're witnessing the dawn of a new era in the car industry, and it's clear that whoever masters both innovation and affordability will rule the road. What's your take? Will BYD continue dominating? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the future of tech and transportation.